Hey, it's Warren here, and if you're in the mood for a bit of baking, then here's how to make my really tasty homemade sourdough bread. And this recipe is enough to make one large loaf of sourdough bread. To begin with, take a large mixing bowl and pour in 100 grams of sourdough starter, followed by 300 milliliters of lukewarm water. Briefly, mix the two together, then add 575 grams of strong white bread flour. Briefly combine all the ingredients in the bowl together, starting with a wooden spoon. Then pour the mixture out onto a clean work surface and loosely knead with your hands for a couple of minutes. When you're left with a shaggy ball of dough just like this, place it into a bowl and cover it with cling film for two hours. After two hours, roll the dough out from the mixing bowl, then add 10 grams of salt to the dough. Then, for two to three minutes, knead the dough by using a stretching and folding method like shown. Roll out into a ball, leave back in the mixing bowl and cover with cling film. Then, leave to rest for 15 minutes. Repeat this process of kneading and then resting three times. After the third time of resting, roll the dough out from the mixing bowl and briefly knead one last time. Then, roll out into a ball and place in a clean, greased mixing bowl and cover with cling film. You'll then need to leave the dough to prove for four hours or until doubled in size. After four hours, preheat the oven to 220 degrees centigrade for 30 Fahrenheit. Take a baking tray lined with some greaseproof or parchment paper and roll the dough out from the bowl. Form into a ball and place in the center of the baking tray. Sprinkle the loaf with flour using a sieve and use a sharp knife to score a cross on the top of the loaf. Place a dish of water in the bottom of the oven which will help give the sourdough bread a lovely crust. Bake the loaf for between 40 and 50 minutes until nice and risen and golden and crisp all over. And there you have it, that's how to make your very own really tasty homemade sourdough bread. Get my sourdough starter recipe by clicking on the link on screen and if you love the look of this recipe remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a regular viewer.